Hi, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's another vlog. <laughs> um, so yeah, and another vlog without me wearing makeup. So if you are new here, I sometimes show up as my true self. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do wear makeup, but you know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing the most and today's one of those days. Um, but I made sure I came in good lighting so you guys can see, you know, all the angles, the best of me. <laughs> This is like the best spot in the house with respect to like lighting. Love it. It's like divine. I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to do a little um, update for you guys. So today is very special because the sofa came. It came like a week early. I think I may have mentioned that in a previous vlog video. But yeah, it came today. And... Um, I didn't get to vlog them putting it up or anything um, because this camera, the battery was charging. I only have one battery for this now. The one that I ordered, the second one that I ordered, because I usually keep like two batteries for each um, of my cameras. But the one I ordered from Amazon, I don't know what happened. I think I probably overcharged it and it kind of swole a little bit. So I just got rid of it because I didn't want to damage my new camera. So. Yeah, and if in case you're wondering, I am recording on my M50, and I usually record my vlogs on M50. The G7X that I used to use, I currently use that um, to do my reels now because I do not have like the most updated iPhone, and the camera quality kind of sucks when it comes to like uploading the um, content. So. I'm using my G7X as my dedicated real camera for content, but you guys get it. And I have another camera that I use to do like mainly like sit down videos and so you guys can get that nice bouquet in the back, you know, all the good things. And I also use that camera to shoot like my looks, you know, for brands and for like just Instagram. So yeah, so now I have three cameras and my iPhone but I digress I am so excited the sofa came they put it up and they came pretty early too which I'm very happy because now I have the afternoon to do whatever I need to do and that includes me recording some content hence this vlog <laughs> because I've been very behind on that my days are just so like super busy and by the time I get home in the afternoon it's just like I don't want to do anything. I'm going to show you guys the sofa. But before we get to the sofa, I just want to do like a walkthrough on what I intend for like the space so I can give you guys the vision, my vision, you know, because it starts with a vision. And I know my process is going to be very long because I'm very indecisive. And I want to make sure that the purchases that I make are intentional and of quality and I can use them beyond this house possibly because yes this is our first home it's not my forever home right so I want to be able to like carry the stuff that I purchased in this dream home to my forever home so yeah that's that's the mindset I have behind all of this so I'm just gonna start here in this kitchen nook area because this was the first place that I got like inspo for so we're gonna start here okay i'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what i plan to do here all right so this is currently the space for our little breakfast nook that's what it started with so this is the breakfast nook so like i told you guys when we first bought the house um this whole area was like purple it had like i mean it was a pretty purple but it's just not for me <laughs> Um, so we did white, we took the blinds down, there were blinds up, we took them down and we were going to put them up, but putting them down, seeing like the big windows, it just looked really, really nice. So we decided to leave the blinds down, but I do intend in putting up like uh, curtains here and I want them to be very close to the ceiling to give like a grand look. And mostly the curtains are just to like to close them at night mainly. 
um, but for the most part they're gonna be open so I'm gonna do like the black curtain rods guys minimal size gonna be black and white gold details browns like warm tones so just just envision that so it's gonna be white uh, curtains um, not super thick because we still want to keep the brightness of the room this is what we have so eventually I'm gonna change this table out I've already have my eye on a particular table I do not want to do square I want to do something round um, and very modern so this is going to change out eventually we're going to move this carpet and put it somewhere else i'm not sure exactly yet i was thinking in this other area here right in front of our island um but yeah so that's what what we're going to do with this space out on the balcony uh these chairs came with the house um yeah not really my style but i'm going to keep them for now and by next summer I'm gonna change them out. No need to change them now because it's cold. We're not even going outside there. So they're gonna stay there for now. And I don't know, maybe I might keep them and probably just change out the cushion colors. But I don't know yet. Moving on. So this is the area that I was telling. I think I'm gonna move the rug from under that table and put it in here. I'm still on the hunt to try and find a really nice like console to put like on this back wall. This um, edge chair is not gonna be here. Not even sure where I'm gonna put it um, once I get the buffet, but I'll think about that when I get to that point. Um, but yes, and this is actually a new addition. This little bench here, it has that shirling uh, material. Absolutely love it. I think I want to keep it there, but I feel like when I have this area situated, I'm gonna move it to um, like a bench on one of the windows, like in front of one of those windows, or maybe I'll just get a second one and put that over there so I'll have two of these. Um, but here I'm gonna put like a buffet table. I can't decide on the color, which is why um, it's still here. I kinda want to like, match it to these stools um because i really like them i like the black i like the the warm tones so i'm not sure yet uh, i might do a black i don't want to do white but this is what i want to do here and then here this i want to be like my little coffee station still on the hunt to try and find the perfect one i've been seeing stuff but and i don't want to do too expensive either because i just don't you know the budget so when I find the perfect one that's gonna go here so that's all I think I'm gonna do for this area I'm not gonna put any curtains here I think I like that the way it is um, that's Let's fine. look at my plant her name is majesty and she has not been doing great throughout this whole transition and I'm not happy about it I've had to like remove a few of her branches because they were like super dead and now this one is just about just about dead. It's so weird because she has new like um, buds coming through, and I I don't understand it because everything else is dying. So I'm like, how are you growing new leaves and dying at the same time? All right, so this part I think I left her out in the sun for too long, so she got scorched. But this is how she's looking. All the other two live plants I have are thriving but she is not she is not my husband said she caught the coronavirus <laughs> I don't appreciate his comments but I think he might be right she is not doing well at all I even changed out like her soil and everything and I really do not want to give her up um, this is like my second palm plant that I've tried to keep alive the first one didn't do well either. I just, I just don't know. And I love palm trees. I love palms. It reminds me of home, like the islands. So I wanted to have that. I don't know. I might just have to like get a fake one. And if you have any suggestions on how I can um, revive her, please leave them in the comments. I really do not want to replace or get rid of Majesty. All right, guys. Sorry about that little dilemma that I'm having with my plant. But you guys understand if you're a plant mom of any amount of plants and you understand the pain 
you feel when you see your plans not thriving the way they should. So, yeah, like I said, leave me some comments below so I can figure out how to keep her alive. Okay? Appreciate it so much. Now, let's 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 talk about the room that you guys are about to see. I have so much plans for this space and like the fact that my sofa is here, I can really now like actually see like it coming through and I'm happy to share with you guys what I'm about to share. Okay, so first of all, let's let's talk about the table that I got last week. You guys, not last week, but you guys saw in last week's vlog, I believe. It's perfect, it's beautiful. I love that it's black. And if you guys know me, you know how much I love black. I don't care, I love black, I love neutrals and a little hint of color here and there. So that's just me. It doesn't have to be you, you don't have to like it, but I love it, okay? Um, yeah, so I got the table and then I ordered some chairs from Amazon. So I got the chairs, the first set that I got were disgusting, they came super dirty. Uh, it, it, they looked like they were used before they packaged them and I immediately sent an email and they were like you know you don't have to return the old ones I'll just replace them so they sent the replacement the replacement looks so much better I was happy with four of them <laughs> when I put them up but two of them like the feet were not fitting in the molding that was you know there for the legs to go in so I messaged them trying to get a refund because at this point I'm just over it they canceled my request for the refund so now I have six extra chairs two that you know I can't use or do anything with because the legs won't go into the molding um so I'm gonna try and sell the other four I'm gonna clean them up somehow and try and sell the other four and figure out what I'm gonna do with the other two because they don't have legs but I'm gonna show you the space anyway. The chairs are perfect. It's the color that I wanted. I love the fabric. I love that it's not actually like white or like plain ivory. They do have like some mixture in the upholstery. So I'm really happy for that. And I really didn't want it to be like super white either because it's a dining area. People, you know, have accidents. You know, food may get on it. I, want, I, I didn't want it to be too visible um, as, you know, time goes on. I do have a special like carpet and upholstery cleaner. It does amazing job with cleaning and getting out like dirt out of your carpet and your upholstery, like your chairs and that stuff. So I will link it below if you are interested in buying it for yourself. Okay guys, so this is the table with the chairs. How stunning, how stunning is this? I absolutely love it. So the table size is a 76 inch table. So it's big enough to hold six persons. I could probably add like a few more chairs here if I needed to. It just looks really nice. I love the modern look of it because you guys know that's what I'm going for. Something mon modern, minimalistic, and just overall chic. And I just love it. This vase, I think I got it from Home Goods somewhere. Um, so I won't be able to link that, but I really like it. It's a bit small for the table to be honest, but I like it there for the meantime. I do want to get like a, a, a wooden bowl. It's very a mono, monochromatic um, color. So the black and white creams, that type of thing. But I do want to have like little gold accents, brown accents to help warm up the space. You know, if you get what I'm saying. So this is the detail of the chairs, guys. I I really like the detail. I like, it has, it looks like black, beige, ivory, like all the colors that actually goes well with um, the color scheme that I'm going for. So I absolutely love it. And never mind this cup, I was having chai earlier, but this is the beautiful table. She is just, just stunning. And are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? This is the sofa. Are you guys getting the Scandi vibes or not? Nah? Because I am. <laughs> Scandi vibes. I am loving it. Like I haven't even really sat on it yet because I need to take a shower and I feel like I need to be clean <laughs> to be sitting on this couch. It is super duper amazing. Well, they came and they put everything up together and um, I really didn't, I didn't have to lift a finger 
honestly they did everything and i love that like white glove service for me i absolutely love that um so it's not actually a white sofa it's cream and it's the cloud sofa not a restoration hardware but it is a dupe your girl found a dupe and i'm very very happy so i didn't get like the down feather i think that's what you call it i didn't get that because i'm not into the messy look I didn't want that and for myself I just know that I can't keep up with fluffing cushions and all that stuff so <laughs> I went with the core cushion option and so it's always gonna look like just done and it's super comfortable I sat in it already actually but you know to really in enjoy it I haven't done that just yet it literally came like an hour and a half ago guys an hour and a half I really could not wait and I just love how my olive tree is just behind here. It's just giving me Kiva, Kiva Brent vibes. It's giving me like all her inspo. Like, guys, I can't believe this is here. It's here. I'm so excited. Super duper excited. Now, I know you guys may be saying, why did you get a white sofa? But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. And the only person who I think would be like getting this dirty would be me <laughs> because I wear makeup. I'm clumsy, you guys don't know that, but I'm clumsy. But I'm not worried about this because I did pay an extra for warranty. So um, what it says is that if I get any spills or any stains, I can just call up a number and they will come and replace it. Clean it or replace it. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving it, guys. And this is a four piece. I knew I wanted something L shaped. It's just stunning. <laughs> guys, I can't believe this is my life look how beautiful that is and you may see like these white um tape on the floor i did also order a rug i finally decided on a rug and that is coming in december so <laughs> i gotta wait again so that is i don't know why they're taking so long but there's a whole shipping issue so a lot of stuff is backed up so that is expected and i'm okay with that because i get to take my time get what I want and if, um, we don't have a TV yet but that is in the works those are the chairs that I need to return the replacement that they sent like all the dirty ones I'm gonna put a, a TV console but I'm just no, not sure what color so I'm thinking black because I feel like that's going to look better um, I really like black I feel like when it comes to like decor I can really like elevate it by adding like white accents and gold accents to it and even some brown like accents on there i feel like i'm gonna do a coffee table not sure what color but i'm thinking i'm gonna do black as well the rug that i chose that is on its way it's not gonna be here until december so that's gonna be here in december um it's like the ivory and gray i'm hoping it's not too gray but once i get that then i'll decide what color i'll do with a coffee table and then of course for the windows i'm going to do the drapery from the ceiling to the floor to give the whole space a grandiose vibe it's it's really it's giving me scandy vibes i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure if you guys see it but i see it the finished look is gonna be so so good okay guys so that is the end of my update video i think it's pretty short it's not like a super big space so there isn't a lot that i actually need to do but the process of me deciding on what it is i'm going to do is what's taking up time as well as ordering the item having them you know having to wait for them to be delivered is what's really gonna make this process longer than it should be but it is okay that just means i have more time to decide on exactly what it is i want in my space in our space and so yes i am just so happy guys this is like a dream come true i've had my mind on this sofa for so long and to have to actually finally have it in our house is just super amazing that is all for today guys thank you so much for coming and visiting my vlog today um yes it was just ba basically a talk through but that is all i have a bandwidth for today i'm just so grateful things have been going slow but surely are happening for us and i'm just happy to just take you guys along and just give you 
you know, a little glimpse of what my life is right now. And I'm just really grateful, honestly. I'm just so grateful. And there's nothing else to say. All right, if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good things. If you wanna see more update videos, just leave your comments below what you wanna see. But yeah, continue to stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.